What's goody? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you are a subscriber, if you're not, thank you, thank you, thank you. In today's video, guys, I'll be giving you guys some skincare tips. Not a skincare routine at all because honestly, skincare routines are very effective as well, but it's also the tips and tricks that make it more effective. So these are some tips and tricks that I use to have the skin that I have, which is not so bad if I do say so myself. So, if you want to achieve some good glowing skin like this, keep watching. So, tip number one, guys. How you apply your face wash. Apply your face wash on dry skin. I feel like it's more effective. It lets the product work in more. And instead of you putting water on it, you're diluting your product. And you're not making your product do its work. So, putting your product on your face with dry skin allows the all of what's in it to do its job. You moisturize it and you moisturize it in everywhere around your face on dry skin. Then you want to damp your hands a little bit and then you rub it into your face like so. Also, if you do not like to use your hands, you can do this method with a dry exfoliator and then damp it. Or what I have been using recently, I like to use the exfoliating cloth because I feel like it's one exfoliating cloth. You're pulling it out and you're doing what you have to do instead of using a face um exfoliator only because it does hold bacteria after a while you can start changing your brush heads me personally when i used to use my brush heads i used to use my brush heads at least once a month when my skin was doing really bad i would change it two times a month because it was just like it needed to be always fresh so i find the exfoliating um face wipes whatever you want to call it is more effective it's one sheet you use it you throw it away so you're not rebuilding up bacteria to number two, you have to take your vitamins. Take your vitamins for your skin and your nails. Take your vitamin E as well. Either a vitamin E or your regular vitamins for your skin. Me personally, I use a Rare Beauty. These are the caps I use. It's called Rare Beauty. It's the refresh ones. It literally has everything that vitamin E has and more for your skin. It's really, really good. It refreshes your skin, moves all those toxins out. It does a really good job. I swear by this product. I This is probably like my third bottle. Yeah, it's like my third bottle. I've been using this a lot, guys. And I don't take it every, every day. I probably will take it maybe three to four times a week. Only because this is effective. My vitamin E pills, I take every day. Because it's not as a, like big of a dose. But these pills are very, very effective, and I don't want to get my skin to get too used to it. I just want it to do its job, run its course, and then keep reproducing instead of it getting so used to it and it not working anymore because these have been like a holy grail in my skincare routine. Tip number three, guys. Do not dry your face with a towel. Dry your face with this paper towel. Paper towel is your best friend. You can go to Dollar Tree and get a whole row. You can go to Dollar Tree and get these that come single pack and a big one. It literally has like, like 300. It has so many in it. And it literally is a dollar. Go to Dollar Tree and get it. Do not dry your face with the towel. Towels hold bacterials. Even the towels that I use on my body, I switch them out once a week. Because you gotta think about it. It's holding your moisture, the water that you rub in your body. It's holding bacteria. It's sitting there. Throughout the day, you don't know what dust may have hit it. You don't know. Just honestly, gotta keep it real. You really don't know. So make sure that you are using a paper towel. No more towels, ladies. And if you are using a towel and you want to be effective, at least wash your towel every two to three days. Simple as that. Wash your face towel every two to three days. Do not you once a week. No, two to three days. Do it. Or just go spend a dollar Dollar Tree and use some towels because you only need one sheet because you do not need to be doing like this on your face regardless. You damp your face and that's like a little tip right there you damp you dry your face do not scrub your face because you're causing wrinkles which can cause aging and we want to look youthful at 50 okay okay tip number five exfoliating exfoliating your face is very very important guys because you never know what is not being able to seep through meaning as yeah, sometimes you've not exfoliated your face your oils do not seep through your pores your face wash your mask all that stuff it needs to be able to seep through your pores to be able to do its job hands-on job instead of the pills on your job as well you need something to be on hands-on hence the reason why we exfoliate but wash our face and use masks it's very very important so make sure you guys are doing that as well 
exfoliate at least two to three times a week it will save your life the exfoliator that i use is this one right here it is the Ola Henson's Lemon Smoothing Scrub. It is a light exfoliator. It has so much like good stuff in it. It has hyaluronic acid. Like the formula itself is super good. And like it says, use two or three times a week. And that's what I do. I exfoliate two or three times a week. So make sure you guys are exfoliating at least two to three times a week. I cannot stress it enough. It is very effective and it will do wonders for your skin. So tip number five, guys, wash your sheets wash your pillowcases same thing applies with the towels yes your sheets are there sitting but you never know what dust may fly on your sheet you never know what may happen to your sheets you never know you may drop your pillow on the floor pick it back up lay on it. you never know guys so and me because i'm sorry like if i drop my pillow on the floor i do not put it back on on the bed i take that pillowcase off automatically and i put it into the clothes no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am i am not about to put it back on my bed I can't do it. I don't know what you guys do, but me, honey, me, me, Jules, no bueno, no bueno. Wash your sheets at least once a week. If you're that girl that can wash it every three days, kudos to you, perfect for you, but at least wash your sheets and your pillowcases once a week, guys. And also, silk pillowcases are very effective as well. So make sure you guys are using silk pillowcases to lay on. If, if you are not 100% cotton, Pillowcases with no dyes in it. Don't sleep on pillows with dyes. Dye, no dyes in your pillows. Like, let it be strictly 100% cotton. No translucent colors, nothing on it at all. 100% cotton, no dyes, or silk pillowcases. Silk pillowcases could be very expensive. The silk pillowcases that I got, I got from Target, and I believe they're like $10 for one. So, it's not a price when you keep adding up, but I got two of them. One of them was actually gifted to me, the other one I brought. It is very effective, guys. It has on waters with my skin. It has minimized my breakouts so much. I usually break out right here in my chin and on my sides because that's how I sleep. I don't have that anymore. And my breakouts has come to a hold. Now I'm just fighting my dark spots. Now that goes to tip number six, bio oil. Oils are really good for your skin, but this bio oil, guys, helps with your dark marks. This stuff is so effective to the point where, like, it's kind of scary because I've been using it for a long time. I've been raving about my oil on my channel for a little minute now. And if you have not, if you are not new here, you already know that. But if you are new here, I'm about to put you on, Joel. Bio oil is the best thing that could have ever, ever done to your skin. If you have any dark marks, even on the skin, bio oil will do the job. And this is bio oil right here, guys. It comes in this size, a little bit bigger, and a really big, big, big one. I like to use these ones because I don't use a lot and this lasts me a good month. Yeah, a good month. Bio oil is really, really good for even toning your skin, for removing dark marks. All that bio oil helps and also leave a nice glowy look as well. I know a lot of people say this and it's important. What you put in your body is what's going to come out. So your eating habits, what you're eating. You have to watch what you eat, guys. If you know that things that you eat causes your breakouts, causes your stomach to erupt, causes you to feel sluggish all the time, try to minimize what you eat because that is basically what's causing you to break out as well. Put in greens, protein, and your body less processed foods is the best thing that you can do. I do drink water all day, every day. You guys already know about my little water. No point for me to keep saying it. But if you guys want to know, let me show you. This water bottle right here, I drink once a day. And this right here I have in right now is some green tea. I literally drink the green tea probably halfway. I'm trying to drink half, um, not half a gallon, but half, half a gallon, however that may be, of green tea a day as well. And it's really good with my skin and also has been really good with my stomach as well, which another tip is to drink your teas, guys. It's very effective. They do have teas that simply just for your skin. I'll have a picture of one on the screen. I want to get that tea. I heard so many good things about it. But for me, for so far, I've just been drinking green tea. And it has really helped my skin as well. So if you want to just drink green tea, drink a green tea. I think it's like three, $3, two, $3 a box. But this tea I'm talking about, guys, I believe it's like 5 or $6. So it varies but they are very effective like i have seen all types of skin types all skin tones have used this tea and it has helped them out sunscreen i don't care if you're white black yellow orange you need sunscreen that's simple as that guys 
You need sunscreen. It doesn't matter your skin tone. Do not listen to people say only black, only white people get skin sunburn. All that stuff. That's not true. Like our sunburns happen differently. Our sunburns happen differently, guys. Our sunburns are actually a bit more effective because it dries out our skin, make it flaky, make it look all oh, and that is because you're not using sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important. That's why when I apply any type of makeup on my face, I always make sure the products that I'm using have sunscreen in it as well. Just so I will not be burning out here in the streets and get flaky, dry skin. Also, make sure that any type of product you may use your creamer or you may just use an everyday face sunscreen that you can use. A picture of the screen of the product. That is a really good one as well. Good, 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 good. Sunscreen, you need it. Your makeup products, your skincare products, you need to wear your sunscreen. It helps so much with your drying flaky skin. Even it actually makes your skin patchy with dark marks. Even about your skin it helps with sunscreen. Sunscreen has so many benefits for your skin. I highly recommend it, guys. Now, a little trick that I just actually recently got on, and I believe Kyra here on YouTube, if you don't know Kyra, then whatever, but Kyra here on YouTube, she does this um, ice roller on her face, and she said it helps out when she has acne, it calms them down. It is a good reactor in, in itself for your skin, so I have been using an ice roller. Recently, all I basically do Two ways I do it, depending on if like, I really need to be like hands-on effective, I would get an ice cube, put on a napkin, and rub it around my face. Or I would get my J, the JV roller or whatever, and I would put it in the freezer, and I would roll it around my face. And it feels so, so good, guys. Highly recommend it. It definitely helps with your wrinkles. It helps, definitely helps with evening and calming down your breakouts as well. Now, now on the spot on breakouts, you need an acne. Acne treatment is very, very good for breakouts as well. I use the acne treatment. It's 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication. And it is basically compared to one for Clean and Clear, but I like, not, is it Clean and Clear? Yeah, Clean and Clear. But I like this more. It is a Target Up and Up brand one. Right there. And I also got this trip from Kyra as well. She uses, it is very effective, guys. When I have a pimple, I put it on my pimple. It's gone. I don't know if you guys remember it, but I had a big pimple right here. On my skin it was like huge it was in my makeup video and literally guys i put this on it it was long in like two three days you see how flat it is now now i just gotta worry about my scar which my body oil is gonna handle because you guys already see that the middle part is lightening up and now i gotta worry about the outer part effective bio oil this top tier i swear by it it's a holy holy grail it's a gem guys and this thing is only, I think, what, three or four dollars. Super inexpensive. Also, something that can help with your skin as well, guys, is you are battling with um, high pigmentation and you want your skin to be even toned, discoloration, all that stuff. I recommend using a toner. This is a toner that I've been using recently. It is the Peach Lily Wild Dewy Treatment toner and it's been doing good. I got this on my jaw. I have like about like four or five packages. So it's two, two uses in one. So I got like five, so two, four, six, so 10 days. And I have like two left. So basically, I've been using it for how many days? One, two. I've been using this one right here, guys. I got it for my job. And this is it right here. Highly recommend it. It's really, really good. It has been doing a lot with my dark marks. So I can definitely highly recommend this product. I also use my Dixon one. And it's good as well. It's very, it's effective, but slowly. Consistency. It's effective, but consistency is key. This one is an actual treatment. So the product itself is very effective. It's actually made for that. And it does a really, really good job. So I definitely recommend it. And the eight ingredients in it is very high. It has hyaluronic acid. It has so many health benefits. It's crazy. Wow, and I believe if I'm taking this to a Korean brand. Is it a Korean brand? I'm not sure. I think it's a Korean brand, guys. And Korean people maybe have a good skin, so what they got, I want. <laughs> what they got, I want. Guys, face masks are very important as well. Just so it can detoxify your face. Your face does need to be detoxified at least 
two to three times a week. It needs it. I'm sorry, guys. It needs it. What I do, I wear a face mask on days where I'm not exfoliating and I exfoliate on days where I'm not face masking. So this is the face mask that I have been loving. It is really, really good. It is by Cure. This is a Korean brand for sure. I know. And this is sold at Sephora. It's a two-in-one turmeric brightening and it's exfoliating mask. This stuff is cracked to me. I love it. It feels so good on my skin. I take it off. Love this. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. This is the thing, guys. This is very, very expensive. Hear me out, though. So, for it does have um, travel size ones like this. I believe it's $20. I'm not mistaken. $18, $20, one of the two. They have it, like, in a small size like this. If you guys remember back, back, back then, I had ended up getting this one in the, the oil. The oil, I didn't see much what it was doing. My bio oil outbeats it, and it's way cheaper. I have been using this so much, and I love it. The oil was okay, but this stuff... It stuck with me, so that's why I've been using it. I've been running through at least three to four of these. This is like my fourth bottom line, I'm going here. And it's really, really good, guys. I love it so much. I definitely think you guys should definitely get it, Jules. Put yourself on with these tips I'm giving you guys, but this one right here is very, very effective. It actually helps with exfoliating and also helps with um, brightening your skin as well. So, starting marks you have have pigmentation and discoloration all that stuff this helps with it as well so definitely recommend it definitely definitely recommend it get a routine for yourself i promise you jules i promise you you do these routines a month and a half straight you will see stuff in your skin changing it can be mild to drastic i promise you but a month and a half of been consistency doing these products, stepping by step, and taking these little precautions that I've been telling you guys will definitely drastic skin change. It doesn't for me, and I had really big acne when I was like in high school, so I don't know what was going on, but my acne was terrible. I'm telling you guys, now my skin is like thriving. Thriving, thriving, thriving. I get so many compliments from you guys. Oh my God, your skin's so nice, skin's so nice. I tell you guys, it is thriving. The routines. That is what you guys have to do. Set a routine, guys. But routines are very, very, very important. Now, my last tip is face thinning. Face thinning allows your pores to be open so that product can work in your skin or you can do it before and after, when you're putting on it, it can work in your skin or you can do it after and it can also like let your skin just open it up. Three ways you do this. For free, go on, a sh go on a the hot water, go on the shower, go on there and let it open up your pores, go out, relax, do your skincare. Or buy a face thinner. So then if you don't want it to be too hot on your face, you can like Put it where you want it to be and control how this the steam level is. That costs money. Or another one for free. Put water into a bowl or a pot. However, you see, make however you want to do it. Make sure the water is hot, 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 and let the steam just go on your face. Literally, like drag it around your face, just like that. Another free way, and it's very, very effective. I do the one in the bowl. I don't like to be in a hot shower. That's not me. Like, everybody knows me, the door is open when I take a shower. I cannot be in a hot shower. I don't know why. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Unless I'm really sick and I want. Sorry, guys. My brow was showing. If my brow was showing throughout this video, I'm so sorry. So sorry. But, yes. That's another thing that I really, really like is face steaming, guys. And if you guys know me, I don't like hot stuff. So, I put it in a bowl and I like to steam on my face. And it's actually very, very effective. I can feel my um, pores opening. So, when I put my product on, it sinks in a little bit more, which is really, really good for me. Me. So that is it today's video, guys. I think I gave you guys about 10 to 15 tips. Oh, cranberry juice, really good too. Also very good for your skin. It helps with your pH balance and all that stuff, which when you don't have, basically when when you're clogged up with bacteria, you're, we're women here. Your period is filth coming out your body. When you clog up with filth inside your body, it causes breakouts. That stuff helps. With that, clean it out. So also can help with your skin as well. So like I said, I'm giving y'all 10 to 15 tricks to make sure you guys have skin like glass. If you want skin like glass, 2022, baby. Get this, Jules. I'm putting you on, Jules. I'm putting you on. Get these products. Do these tips if you want skin like glass. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Make sure you follow me on all my social media, which will be so on the string at XOXOBOR, XOXOBOURAH. That's my Instagram, and my Snapchat, and I'm very active on both of those. Fashion lifestyle, I got you. Follow me on Instagram. 
Need some inspo? Follow me on Instagram. Want some cute, aesthetically, daily lives, reels? Follow me on Instagram. And also, guys, click that notification and subscribe button so you won't miss when I upload on here as well. Because on here, I give you the full scoop. Over there, I give you the little quick little snippets. So if you want the full scoop, something you refer back to, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. And click that notification and subscribe button to be a part of the Jules thing. And like I always say, <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Bye, Jules.